Bum 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 bum. Wait, I can do that better. What if it's like? Who would have thought that that tattoo and how I healed it would turn into my number one viewed short? The short that I'm talking about has been seen 3,369,803 times. With that many views, you better believe that I have a lot of comments. In fact, I have 721 comments. Some of them are nice, some of them are not so nice. Today, we're gonna take a look at my number one viewed short, and I'm finally gonna respond to some of those comments, both the nice ones and the not so nice ones. Applying the Sanoderm the day after my tattoo. Now Austin has sent me home with some pretty clear instructions on how he wanted me to care for the tattoo, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. He told me to keep his wrapping on all night long and to wash it and to let it air dry the next morning. Once I had that all done, I started to apply the Sanoderm. Now Sanoderm is like a big giant sticker and you wanna put it on with as few air bubbles as possible. I was pretty fortunate that I was able just to use one piece of Sanoderm to cover the entire tattoo, and I think I did a pretty good job. I only had one tiny air hole, and that one wasn't an issue. So once I had it on, I just peeled off the backing, and it's literally like just a real thin little layer over the top of your tattoo, and I'll have this on for five days. At the end of five days, I'll show you what my tattoo looks like before and after I remove the Sanoderm. And you know what? It's a pretty easy way to heal a tattoo and I'm excited to see how it turns out. Now, before we go any farther and before I start responding to these comments, I do wanna let you know, I am not a tattoo artist. I am not a doctor and I don't work for Sanoderm. So any of the responses that I do um, for the product, I am going to be referring to Sanoderm's website. Any comments that I do in regards to tattooing that is on my body, I'm going to respond to it in my experience. So with that little disclaimer on there, let's get going and see what people are saying. Why can't you just let your tattoos heal normally? What is all of this? Well, this is Sanoderm. Referencing Sanoderm's website, Sanoderm's tattoo aftercare bandage creates a barrier around your freshly tattooed skin, protecting it from dust, bacteria, moisture, and other external irritants. And that's exactly what Sanoderm is. It's a tool to help you heal your tattoo. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't know. I've always been told never to rewrap a tattoo once you take the stuff off. Absolutely. If your artist sends you out of the shop with saran wrap on and you take it off, never put saran wrap back on. But Sanoderm is not saran wrap. Five days is too long, two to three days max. Nope, according to Sanoderm's website, your second application you can wear three to five days, but just never more than seven. I got this next question a lot, and it's a great question. Can you shower with Sanoderm on? And absolutely you can. It's waterproof and it acts like a second skin. So just like you shower every other day, you would shower with Sanoderm on. Now, I wouldn't scrub it with soap or you know play with it too much in the shower. So just do whatever you do in the shower with or without Sanoderm. You can just use clean film. Nope, two totally different things. A clean film like Saran Wrap is used outside of the shop. You take it off when you get home. Sanoderm, again, totally different product. Don't use Saran Wrap like you would use Sanoderm and don't use Sanoderm like you would Saran Wrap. I have deemed you the tattoo lady and I like that. My brother did my tattoo and I use good old fashioned plastic wrap. Well, I'm sure that turned out really well for you. That's a lot of work. I like to dry heal mine. Dude, I, I, I have heard of this healing. I have never done it. It sounds painful. It sounds itching. But again, this is a you do whatever you want to do with your tattoo kind of channel. So hats off to you, brother, because I, for one thing, I could not, I can't get through one day without lotion on my new tattoo. So you do you. Back in the day, we just used saran wrap. Well, you know what? Back in the day, I used saran wrap, and still today, I will walk out of a shop with saran wrap on. Again, not telling you what to do, just giving you an alternative on how you can heal your tattoo. OMG, grandma got me acting strange. You know what? I don't know what your grandmother is doing, but she probably should stop. We use coconut oil in prison. 
thank you. If I ever find myself in that situation, I will know how to heal my tattoos. I love your shoes. Thank you. Those were really cool Converse Runstar hikes. I also got a lot of comments about concern about air bubbles and how I placed Saniderm on this short. You have to remember, I only had a minute to get this on there and I showed you the basics of how I did it. After this was filmed, I went back and I made sure I had no air bubbles. I made sure my tattoo was completely covered. Please rest assured that I had it all nicely put on with all of the air bubbles gone. Where do you give dogs and bath and have you ever seen or been in a whirlpool? Well, um, I give Andy a bath in the bathtub. I have taken a bath. I've never seen a whirlpool, but I have seen a jacuzzi. Hideous, you have every right to love your tattoo. I have every right to be disgusted by it. You posted it. You know what? You don't have to love my tattoo. I don't really care. I just totally cracked up. I think this one was probably the funniest. Just how you came in being like, I'm gonna say this even though it's a sh thing to say because I have the right to say it. So just know this is my right. I don't really care. Tell me my tattoo suck. I don't know. Just don't put that much effort into it. Did you add any lotion or balm before the Sanoderm? No, you don't put any lotion or anything on your skin. You just have a clean, dry tattoo. You put your Sanoderm on the top of that and you do not need any lotions or anything like that. So, fugly. Uh, yes, you are. You don't need ointment, does it itch? Nope, you do not need any ointment and it does not itch. And that's the really cool thing because I hate that itching period of healing a tattoo, but it definitely takes away that awkward itching part of healing a new tattoo. When you're 60, every tattoo will be one blob mess of dark blackish blue color with blurred design. Getting all my tattoos removed with laser. Well, good for you. And if I read this correctly, in 492 days, my tattoos are instantly going to combust and I'm gonna be covered in a blue blob of ink. I don't think that's gonna happen. And that's one of the things that irritates me is because we automatically are just like, yeah, you know what? When you get to be a certain age, your tattoos are gonna look terrible. And that is not true. I got all sorts of comments about the simple fact that Sanoderm is an adhesive product and a lot of people are allergic to that. If you have kind of like a like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to have a reaction to it, just buy it before your appointment, slap it on your skin, see if you get any reaction to it. If you do, don't put it over your tattoo. If you're fine a couple of days later, then heal your tattoo if you want to with Sanoderm. Aqua 4 and Suck It Up Buttercup. If you can get a tattoo in the first place, you can deal with the healing process. It literally comes with the territory. Stop wasting plastic. Well, Buttercup, I can heal my tattoos however I want to. And if I want to use a Sanoderm product, you know what? I'm going to do it. And by the way, Buttercup, Sanoderm is not plastic. So the shin, what should I be expecting? On a level between one and a hundred, you know, surprisingly, the shin was not that bad. I was expecting a complete ghost pepper. I was expecting a hundred and going right down the front of my shin, hmm, you know what? I would give it like a jalapeno where it hurts and where it hurt the worst is when it gets into that fatty part of your shin and then the calf is actually the worst part. I got a lot of these comments about how their artist sends them home with Sanoderm on, and that's perfectly fine. But you have to realize you have to take it off the next day. And peeling that Sanoderm off of a fresh tattoo is not the most enjoyable experience. So Austin wraps it up real nice and tight. I sleep in that. I wash it the next day and then I apply my Sanoderm. It just alleviates that step again of ripping off that Sanoderm off of a new tattoo. Again with the grandma thing, you know what? I'm 58 years old. I know exactly how old I am. I was there when I was born. So if you want to call me grandma, great, go for it. Hopefully I'm a grandma one day, but let's just kind of get over this whole like, hey, I'm going to say something crappy about somebody and use their age. And it always cracks me up when they like laugh at their own thing, like <laughs> I'm going to call her a grandma and I'm going to be really cool. You know what, dude? Ain't so cool because I guarantee you I am cooler than you are. Where can I get some at? You can actually buy it at Walmart. You can buy it from Amazon. 
you can buy it directly from the Sanoderm website. So you can just Google it and find a place to buy it that's easiest for you. That tattoo was not inked the previous day. It's been there for a while. Hmm, no, you were wrong. I was there. I know when my tattooed was ink. And if you really think that I sat there and put Sanoderm over a healed tattoo just to kind of get clout, you don't know me very well. Wow, don't often see 60 year olds getting tattoos. Well, I'm here to change that. You know what? I want to encourage 60 year olds to get tattoos. I want to encourage 70 year olds to get tattoos. I want it to be where people of all ages can have that freedom of self-expression. So yes, you don't see it very often, but again, I'm here to change that. Now, all of my comments were not horrible. I did get a lot of nice ones and thank you everyone for all of the nice comments about my beautiful snake tattoo. I hope that you enjoyed listening to some of those comments. I have to tell you, when I was going through them and I was pulling out the comments that I was gonna to respond to, I was like, wow, you know what? Now I know why it took me so long to do this because there's some like really strong opinions about my short. And I think that the whole takeaway from this episode and the whole takeaway from me doing that short is just to show that you have the freedom to heal your tattoo however you want. You know what? I'm not telling you what tattoo to put on your body and I'm not telling you where to put it. And I certainly am not gonna tell you how to heal it. How I get tattooed, where I put my tattoo and how I heal it is personal to me. But by me sharing my information and a little bit of that wisdom that I have gained in the 28 years of getting a tattoo, if I can share that with you and help somebody, I'm gonna do it. If the haters are gonna hate, you know what? I don't care. I have over a million people following me on social media. And if you think that this is the first time I've heard any of these things, you are absolutely wrong. So remember, be bright, be bold, be brave, get a tattoo and heal it however you want. And that includes using a second skin product like Saniderm. So I'll see you all on the next episode. Can you do me a favor, Robert? Yeah. Can you grab her real quick? Come on, Andy. Come on. My mustache wax off my hands. Come on. Uh. <laughs>